Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well today. Hope you're doing great. So, right beside me here, while well, I'm down in the basement, I've uh, got my treadmill right here. Just this normal basement. But I have my Blink Sync module for my Blink camera system. And if y'all know, and if y'all watch my videos, that's one of my better videos that has done well on YouTube is my Blink camera system that I have around the house. And you got to have this module to talk to the cameras and then this talks to Wi-Fi and then you can see it all on your smartphone or home assistant or whatever. Well, you gotta have it close to the cameras. So I just stuck it in an outlet down here and pretty much forgot about it. And it looks terrible on wall. I just got a 3M command strip and uh, I was down there walking on the treadmill, and yes, I walk on the treadmill. Don't look like it, but I do. Um, I looked on the wall here, and I went, good Lord, that looks terrible. So I started looking around, and I found a outlet mount for the Blink Sync module. Very inexpensive. And what I got now, I just have a 3M command strip with it next to the outlet. This will make it like my Google Wi-Fi uh, access points to where it's everything's neat and it doesn't look like that and all it takes is a minute and I don't even think it needs any tools I needed my pocket knife I think this was uh, seven or eight dollars on Amazon very simple it comes with a USB is that micro USB to USB A cable? And one thing about this little kit, it actually has a flash drive. It has a 64 gig flash drive that connects to the side where you can take it out and look at your uh, video. Yeah, that's all this has got is a little snap for the module and where the USB adapter plugs into the receptacle. So let's take this apart. Yeah, I wish you could stream the video. Uh, I haven't figured out a way to do that yet, but maybe one of these days. So we'll unplug it. And all I had, it, I had some Velcro on there to make sure it works. This is what you got. It comes with a power adapter, the sync module, and that's it. So what we'll do, we'll take this off the wall the thing I like about command strips, they doesn't tear up your paint or your drywall or anything. See, look, no damage. So what we'll do, we'll plug this up. It'd be better if I showed you what I've done. So that all it does is plug into that. That plugs into that. So we'll go ahead and put the sink module in. Luckily, it's all the same color. See, and that's what it looks like instead of having a uh, Velcro and a tie wrap tied around it. And then we'll take our 64 gig USB drive and get it open. On my next video, I'll show you how to access video footage. There we go. It actually comes with a little cover too, huh? Different. There. So now if you have a lot of video footage, let's say you got some animals or somebody trying to break in your house, or whatever, you can pull this out, stick it on your computer, and view the footage. But right now, all we'll do is come here. That looks a lot better than what it was before. And once it boots up, you'll see the little light come on. I can clean my mess up. Links for this will be in the description. 
One thing I may do, I may try to find a receptacle somewhere else around here that's hidden a little better. See, now I got a, the blinking amber lights, and now I'm, I'm active out there. So, doesn't that look better? Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know how your blink cameras are doing. Uh, mine are doing well. I'm trying to integrate them into Home Assistant right now. I'm struggling with that, but I'll have a video on that coming up pretty soon. So. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing well today. Remember to subscribe, like, a whole bit. And y'all have a great day and a great weekend. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Man, that's better.